Running back Travis Homer returned to practice and is inserting himself right back into the competition. What is going on 12's Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. Well, Seattle has a crowded running backs room now that third year back Travis Homer returned this week. Well, I'm very excited just to be able to get back out here and play with my boys. I'm really excited about him coming back. You know, he's different than the other guys. He runs different. Uh, he's got his own style. He's really downhill. He's really fast. Such a tough football player in special teams in every aspect of our game. Everything we ever asked of him, he did really physically right. And uh, so he gives you kind of a different, a, a different uh, mode, kind of. You know, and and. Uh, so I'm anxious just to see if we can get him back in here and he can feel comfortable and get him through the week and see where he fits. And, and uh, um, we know that he can contribute to our team. We know he's a good ball player. And uh, we love his toughness and all the, the versatility that he brings. So uh, he's a really good pass protector as well. And, and so um, you know, he's got a lot of, there's a lot of positives. So we just got to wait and see how he does and how he handles it. And this will be like, okay, he got through today. How's he tomorrow? You know, how's he feeling? And then just do one day at a time until he starts building some days up. And we'll take a while on that to, to figure that out. The third year back started training camp on the pup list with a calf injury. Over the past two seasons, the Miami product played in 25 games with one start and has recorded one touchdown. With six running backs currently on the roster, there likely isn't room for all of them come the final round of cuts due this Tuesday. It's another position that's it's a great competition because so many guys have done such a nice job. You know, Travis, the first thing you see out here is how fast he is. You know, we'll, we'll see when everything gets going with pads on, all that stuff for him, uh, when he can really let loose. But he's another guy just like just like Colby has had some setbacks, but he's been doing everything right to get back as quick as he can. Uh, he's in great shape right now, and you see it show up when he gets out there and gets a, a chance to start to get into the, the rhythm of, of football, not just workouts and rehab. Uh, so he's been doing a great job. And, and then the rest of the running backs have all been doing a phenomenal job with Alex and, and DJ showing up in the games in a, in a multitude of ways right there, whether it's special teams, catching the ball, running the ball. So he's been, a, he's been a, 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 you know, just a great pleasure to be around. Uh, you know, put another guy in DJ and Alex, same thing, Chris, all the running backs in that category of, uh, with Rashad Penny coming back to in the mix of just doing the right thing so consistently that they're starting to reap the rewards in these practice settings of, of understanding the system and, and really looking sharp. No, it's great. You know, we're all going to run physical and we're all going to run hard. If his health allows, we could see Travis Homer on the field this weekend as the Seahawks take on the L.A. Chargers in the final preseason game. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. And as I mentioned, the final round of cuts are due this Tuesday at 1 o'clock Pacific. And it's a big one going from 80 players down to the final 53-man roster.